Hello, Libras. Welcome to uh, your quickie reading. Uh, a new thing I'm doing on the channel here called What Do I Need? It's a What Do I Need read. Uh, and we're focusing it on uh, this full moon uh, that we're in for August from full moon to new moon next, which is on the 30th. So we're looking at a good, you know, 15 day period, depending on when you are uh, watching this. So I'm doing this a little bit before. I'm trying to get them all done before the actual day. But remember that you can check back on this one because it is for, you know, a good two, pretty much two week period of time that you can go have a look see. Uh, this uh, spread that I'm doing, I'm just pulling um four cards overview, right? Quick, get in, get out, get your information, right? My air sign, uh, Libra Sun Moon Rising Collective. Uh, this will be fun because I'm going to pull one from each of the usual decks that I use for my reading. So let's dive in. I've already blessed the deck, felt very, very strong, very, very balanced, but also somewhat, I won't say unemotional, but I will say a transcendent, like looking from a higher place, less emotional, but balanced, tranquil, but strong, the strength card, I would say, but we'll see what shows up. So my angels, please, one card for the Libra Collective Sun, Moon, Rising signs for this full moon to new moon next, August 2019. What do they need? What does Libra need? Enchantment said it before, not my favorite card. <laughs> Things are not as they appear to be, although it can also mean that there is a hidden part of the divine plan unfolding here, which is sort of what I'm getting. But let's get these puzzle pieces on the table. Uh, also, if you are a Libra, uh, Sun, go check your, uh, your moon and your rising. We're not including Venus signs this time, which is good because I have uh, my Venus and Libra. <laughs> so it's like one less sign I have to like figure out if I'm involved in later in the edits. It's nice going into them knowing I don't. So uh, here we go. My gods, please. One card for the Libra Collective. Sun, moon, rising. For this full moon to new moon next. What do they need? August 2019. Aha, the wise one. The hermit. Don't freak. The hermit is not an exile. <laughs> the hermit goes willingly. Uh, and, and interesting, I said uh, transcendent higher perspective, the Kaliach in the Daughters of the Moon, she is riding a, uh, a pale horse, a crone uh, mare over, you see, Stonehenge there. So she's above it. So yeah, so that, uh, so an enchanted hermit, not bad start. Uh, <laughs> consider we're only doing four cards. Uh, my masters, please, Clarify, please, one card for this Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Sign, Collective, for this full moon to new moon next for August 2019. What do they need? Holding on, holding on. Now, I get the usual meaning of that, that you're holding on to someone who's leaving or something that's on its way out. Uh, this is a full moon in... Uh, in Leo, and actually it's, I believe, pretty brief. Like it goes, uh, I think, full and void, like pr pretty much at the same time or within like a half hour or so. So uh, a good time for releasing and letting go, but with enchantment and that hermit, because that's, that, that's, a, that's a tricky. So let's, let's get uh, your last card down here. My collective pantheon of angels, guides, and masters. Please, one card. For this Libra Sun Moon Rising Collective. I'm feeling that, I'm feeling that. One card, please, for this Libra Sun Moon Rising. What do they need? This full moon to new moon next, August 2019. Get to know each other. Learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. Learning to meet another's need. Learning, 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 learning. So, um, look, uh, Libra, it definitely feels like what you need right now is some time alone to figure some things out, to look at attachments and to get that, what we're attached to, look, good luck trying to let go of attachments without uh, help, right? So at the same time, you're, 
you're perhaps withdrawing, but enchantment, see, this is the card that throws it all off, not for me in general, but enchantment can mean that, yes, the divine is at work here and the plan is in play because it always is. Uh, but in terms of what you need, sort of like to trust that the paradox that as you pull back, what you are holding on to in some way, it's not that you're holding on to it and pulling it towards yourself, but in that movement of backing up, what you're holding on to gives you some information, whether intuitively in some enchanted means. And that's why I don't like the word enchant. <laughs> I am an earth sign. <laughs> I, I want to see uh, what's the tea, what's going on. But, you know, it can mean that the, the fairies of the universe, that the law of attraction, that there, there's a lot going on behind the scenes here but my sense is really spiritually. So then another thing of this can say, and, and they are saying that this is like a much better spin on this card and it feels so much more Libra, just hold on, hold on, pull back, hermit, see it from a higher place, transcend, do the work that only you can do, but get to know each other, get to know this situation from that higher place and to hold on to those things that you learn, the things that you heal, the things that are growing within you, how you're growing, how you're evolving. Uh, because this is definitely affecting other things in your life, particularly one-on-one -on -one partnerships. I'm feeling that, not to immediately bring it into a, like a romance, true love to inflame soul matey things. That's not necessarily indicated here. This feels like it's way more about you. And, and, you know, it seems a little too trite to say getting to getting to know you, getting to know all about you, about yourself, but getting to know, like, what you're holding on to, what's worth holding on to. Uh, but with that card of enchantment, with that card of enchantment, I got to say, it just throws that sparkly mystical cloud around things. So there is a mystery thing here. And remember, a unicorn is a horse, right? This animal of raw muscle and power with a deadly weapon on its head. See what's there, right? See what's there, but you might need to whoop, see it from the hermit's vantage point, the Kaliach, she who rides alone. But you know what? When it's by choice, when it's done to empower yourself, when it's get, getting to know something, always worth it, always worth it, and usually temporary because he can be a hermit nowadays, really, ultimately. So I offer this prayer and this blessing for the Libra Collective Sun, Moon, Rising signs, for this full moon to new moon next. Dearest God, God us all that is, my angels, gods, and masters, bless them, bless them, bless them, bless the Libra Collective Sun, Moon, Rising signs, that they may receive all that they need, enchantment or not, that they may embrace who they are, where they are, love what rises within them. To get to know the places that are holding on inside of them, those voices from the past, from pain or from courage, from truth, the holding on to the vision, to the truth, to the guidance, to the grace that's being given them. And may they always find their balanced way step by step forward. Not just for this waning moon cycle, but for always. Blessed be, blessed be, blessed be the Libra Sun Moon Rising Collective. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So moon be. Wishing you the best of this moon cycle. Keep asking for what you need. It's better than trying to figure out where you are. Just go to your divination systems, go to your gods, your guides, your masters, whoever. What do I need? What do I need? Thank you so much for your time. Please like and subscribe. Share if you know someone that this feels like this resonates with. It's general enough, but enough pieces in it. Oh, that also, if you check your other signs, uh, some puzzle pieces here that might give you a little bit of a clue, a little guidance, a little grace about what you need. Cool, cool. I wish you the very best and the very blessed. And for now, how? Farewell. And blessed be.